Sara TV, you're welcome. A few days ago, U.S. law enforcement officials raided a Zurich hotel, arresting a great number of people who are connected with the, the game of football. I'm talking the world governing body, FIFA. Apparently, there has been an ongoing issue where um, these officials were tracking, the, the law enforcement officials were tracking these officials and investigating them for racketeering and money laundering. We have on the line now Ifeanyi Okpara. Ifeanyi Okpara is an international sports contributor and is going to join us to walk us through what really is going on with FIFA. By the way, Sepp Blatter was not arrested and has won another term at the helm of affairs at FIFA. Welcome to Sahara TV, Ifeanyi. How you doing, Quincy? How should they going? Uh, it's going great. I hope yours is as great. And thank you for yeah. um, uh, making time with us at so short notice. Really appreciate it. Not a problem. No problem. Please. Okay. So first of all... Great they, to be here. We appreciate it. First of all, there has been um, a number of events which eventually culminated in the arrest of these officials. Can you sum up what really happened? Well, basically, it's been an on. I mean, it's not been a secret. It's something that has been out there for years now. That uh, there's been a, 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 a culture, a corruption culture in FIFA, and uh, some of the officials have been uh, implicated. So basically, what happened was uh, the U.S. Department of Justice, alongside uh, the Swiss authorities, actually conducted an investigation, and uh, a couple of days back. Um, they raided uh, the hotel where a couple of the FIFA officials were staying and arrested them. Um, they were staying in that hotel because the FIFA General Assembly, Assembly or rather the FIFA Congress, was going to hold in um, on, was supposed to have um, began on Friday. So that was an opportunity for them to, you know, go in there, arrest them, and. Uh, have them, um, they're trying to have them come into the U.S. Um, for the trials. Um, it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's something that has been out there for a while now, that has been corruption in FIFA. Um, but, you know, FIFA is an organization that um, they do everything in-house. Mm. And so, um, you know, you've not, we've not had a situation where we had an independent body investigate and uh, bring the people that are, are culpable of these crimes to book. So the U.S. Justice of Department, or Department of Justice, uh, alongside the Swiss authority, took, took it upon them to do this. And uh, they have these uh, seven officials uh, indicted, and uh, they're currently in jail. I think some of them have been bailed out. And uh, they are facing a situation where they could be extradited to the United States to come uh, face trials mm. for their crimes. So you said they are, they are, some of them are currently in jail. Are they in jail in, in, in Switzerland? Yeah, they are currently in Switzerland, and uh, they are facing. Uh, some of them should have been uh, uh, bailed out by now. They should be out, but uh, the authorities here in the United States are looking to extradite them to come. Um, face the law here in the United States. Mm. So the, the 2018 and the 2022 editions of the World Cup seem to be what sparked this whole thing. Um, there were yes. too many issues, you know, connected with the, the with awarding, um, you know, the, the, the tournament to any of the countries that were proposing to host it. What really happened with that? How, how, did, how did it spark? Well, you... It is not official. It's not something that is official that the um, the 20, 2018 and the 2022 World Cup bids that went to Russia and Qatar is actually what sparked it. Although there have been insinuations and rumors out there that that is uh, what actually sparked it, because you know America is involved and America lost the bidding uh, rights to 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 Qatar. However, before then, there's always been this rumor, there's always been this belief that there is um, a culture of corruption, right, in FIFA. So I guess you know, you know, you know, people have come up and say uh, to 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 say that that would have been what sparked it off. Maybe that sparked it off, but according to the Department of Justice, they said they've been 
um, investigating this for a couple of years, two mm. years, and they haven't come out to say that is actually what's backed it up. So we'll take them by their word, although, you know, there is belief out there and it is possible that that could have sparked it off. You're absolutely right. And also also um, because uh, there, there are even allegations that South Africa offered a $10 million bribe for the World Cup that we've all come to love so much, the only World Cup staged on the African continent. The, the South African government has denied this, though. What's your take on that? Well, that is an example of uh, one of their findings, uh, but they haven't actually come out to show us proof. Well, for me, um, you know, until they come out and show us proof that there, there has, that there was, um, a, you know, some kind of uh, corruption, malpractices that took place, um, you know, we really can't conclude, mm. although you know, given the fact that there is a, a, a culture of corruption in FIFA, it is very possible that that would happen. But according to what their reports or their findings, they said they carried out an investigation that spans for 21 years. Now, if it spans for 21 years, that should include the World Cup in Germany, um, the World Cup in, in, in France. So it cuts across all other World Cups, including the uh, the, the, the junior Africa championship. One. Yeah, the South oh, African the junior, one and also the junior. Even those the, as well? The, even the, the, yeah. the junior leagues, the junior tournaments The too? junior leagues are there because it's a culture. It's a, like I said, it's a, it's a culture of corruption. And uh, the executive committee, I mean, FIFA handles all those tournaments. So. Mm. Hopefully, sometime we should be having reports or getting a full report as to you know all the goings on uh, of those uh, competitions. For the mm -hmm. one for South Africa, you know you, we can't we can't blatantly um, say it's not true, even if the South African officials have denied it. We just have to wait until the full report comes out from the uh, Department of Justice. Absolutely. And talking about Africa, Africa has had its own ver version of this scandal. Um, I remember, I quite remember last year thereabouts, um, or maybe even early this year, the, the president of the GFA, the Ghana Football Association, Kwesi Nyantechi, was out in the news um, being accused of taking, you know, uh, arranging, um, a, like, you know, a pre a pre-arranged match between Ghana and uh, some countries. We actually saw yeah. videos of him, you know, speaking with people that he believed were matchmakers who actually yeah. were investigative journalists. Yes. How, how does this all add to the total picture? Is it that bad? Is it like all the way from the that, top that, that of is, FIFA all the way to all the FAs? Yes, that is what I've been saying, that there is a culture of corruption in FIFA. And if there's a culture of corruption in FIFA as led by Step Blatter, then it means that it trickles down to the FAs, most especially FAs in African countries or FAs in, you know, third world, third world countries. Why is um, a, why then is a blatter not arrested? Virtually, the 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 next, you know, how many ever officials serving under him were arrested? The officials stopped short of arresting him, you know, well, making it like the entire. Um, head of, of FIFA. Is he out of the woods well, yet? Personally, I don't think he's out of the woods yet. And, but according to the Department of Justice and the Swiss authorities, they don't have anything on him for now. Okay? And uh, Blatter is very powerful in FIFA. I mean, Blatter is, uh, he has uh, devised a means of staying in power. And that means is, uh, and the way he's been able to do it is basically, um, you know, uh, building a strong alliance with uh, the countries, African countries, and the uh, confederations in uh, in Asia. And how has he done this? He's done this by funding them. He's done this by promoting and developing football in these countries. Uh, you take an example of Africa. In Africa, there's a FIFA project called the Goal Project. Now, mm -hmm. this project, they actually allocate money to help in grassroots development of soccer in Africa. It all, they also aid in, you know, building uh, confederations, headquarters, you know, pitches, you know, all those sort of things. And they also have uh, uh, money that is allocated to all these countries countries and so they love bladder and when it comes to the voting rights in fifa the vote of a country like the cook islands that is not so 
a big of a country in, a, in, 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 in world, world football is the same vote that Germany, England has. Mm. And, you know, this, the, the smaller con countries far outweigh the major powers in That's world right. football when it comes to the numbers. But their voting rights are the same. And Blatter has been able to devise a means of satisfying these other countries, and they, they follow him. They follow him. However, though, I would all equally blame, and I don't know why people haven't talked much about this, um, the UEFA country, the, U, uh, the UEFA, that is the uh, Football Federation the European in, in Europe, football, yeah. the European, very, very powerful. But in, in terms of numbers, you can compare them to like Africa, Asia, Oceania, um, the Commonwealth and CONCACAF. Together, mm. you can compare, but they are very powerful. Now, what I think they've not succeeded in doing is actually building confidence with the other confederation so as to bring out a, their candidates that would help, uh, you know, out splatter. I'll give you, a, I'll give you an example. When it comes to the African Nations Cup, for instance, right, mm -hmm. a lot of African players play in Europe. But you have a situation where the Europeans don't respect, UEFA really doesn't respect the African Nations Cup. There's been this push to have the African Nations Cup not played in January. They want it to be played in the summer. And it's not possible because of the, uh, the weather nature I I in Africa. Mm. That's one. And they've been clamoring for this, you know, for a, a while now. It's actually been Bladder, Step Bladder, that has helped quell this, that's been in support of the African countries, and that hasn't taken place. Another uh, example would be release of players. A lot of uh, 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 um, uh, club sites in Europe, you know, left to them, they're not going to be releasing players to the African countries and the Asian countries. Right? But because of the way Bladder has promoted uh, football, the way Bladder has defended the rights of Africa and Asia, you know, it's not mm. been possible for that to happen. I so you see. see, Bladder has been able to build up confidence. Totally. No wonder, no wonder yeah. he's and, won another and, and, term. And when, it, when it comes to slots in the World Cup, it was under Bladder and Bladder's promotion that countries in Africa and Asia are able to get uh, higher slots in the World Cup. Totally. And there's this belief, you know, there's this belief out there that left, if you leave it to UEFA, they wouldn't want that. So you see, the UEFA, the, the UEFA has not been able to garner confidence from other uh, confederations. And that is why this, but it, it, instead, Bladder has been able to gather confidence from them. And that is why they're following Bladder. That is why they're in support of Bladder and all that's, the way. And that's totally yeah. understandable, Ifa. And you know, one that he's totally, won. To, that's, to, totally, totally understandable. No wonder however, he has won another, another, um, term. another term. Um, however, I'm fast however, running out of time, Ifa. Um, okay, okay. But make, no, make that, make make that point. I want to yeah, yes, yes, put this. However, it is not, it is very wrong for you to condone corruption just because mm. you benefit from, from it. There saying. is corruption in FIFA, and they need a new person at the helm of affairs to come in there and bring about reforms and transparency. Let me ask you, Ifani, um, it seems as if this is UEFA versus the rest of the world. As, as some of the UEFA uh, the FAs under the UEFA also connected to this scandal? Well, there's nothing that is, there's no proof to show that, um, you know, UEFA officials um, are, have been in, indicted or they have any, you know, role to play. But you, you really can rule that out because we do have some UEFA officials that are in the executive committee of, of FIFA. And just to correct you, it's not like it's a fight between UEFA and the rest of the world. It's just that there is corruption in FIFA. It is known that there is corruption in FIFA. Well, UEFA, UEFA, UEFA is the only, UEFA is a, the only you know, body UEFA that actually a, stood up against the blatter so no, you, you UEFA stood up you have some countries in in CONCACAF like the Americans the Americans have stood up America is not in UEFA America is actually in CONCACAF and you have some countries in Comobo which is the South American Confederation I mean there's always there's, there's always the the um yeah. you know, the exception well, to you, the rule. you you UEFA is out there because UEFA is a powerful it's block more vocal than the rest of them it, my time is up before and we powerful. go though before yeah. we go can I ask you how how yeah. do you envisage this ending? How do you see this ending? How 
I see it, honestly, I don't think I, I don't think um, I don't think uh, Step Bladder will survive this. If if I'm going to be honest, um, I think there will be a situation whereby, I mean, you think about it. How come they made the arrests two days to the um, to the uh, FIFA Congress? The Congress. How come that happened? So I think. Um, there will be more that will be coming out. I don't think, I think this was just a warning to Step Blatter. However, he's very stubborn and he's been reelected again. I think we should watch out for more. Um, it's a good thing that is out there now. There's an investigation. Um, and I don't think it will be long before we have a new person at the helms of affairs. Step Blatter cannot continue. FIFA has lost all credibility and confidence and trust from a lot of people in the world. There has to be reforms. There has to be transparency. And uh, definitely Step Blatter is not that man that will, you know, change that. He's been at the helms of affairs for 17 years as president. However, he's been in FIFA for 40 years. If this could be happening under him for all these years, how come he's saying that he's the one that can change it? It's not possible. But I think there will be a more, there will be a lot more coming up. This, this is definitely not the end. It's only just the beginning. Thank you so much, Ifani Henry Opara, for your insight in this matter. We'll Thank definitely you. be reverting to you as this story develops. So um, hang on in there for us. We'll definitely get back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Clancy. Thank you, Henry. Um, Ifani Henry Opara, an international sports contributor, Sahara TV. Stay tuned, we have more coming your way.